Hello, my dear students. How are you? I think you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIEBS Home School. I am Ashish Bishash, an assistant teacher of mathematics in National Ideal English Version School on morning shift. Today, I shall take a class in mathematics on in class 5. My topics is average, which is in chapter 8. After completing this chapter, we will able to learn what is average, what is the formula of average and solving problems. Be, uh, now, let us start. What is average? Average, when a set of quantities are given, the value obtained by dividing the sum of these quantities by the number of quantities in the set is called the average of these quantities. Formula of average. Sum of quantities divided by number of quantities. You should bear in mind that by using only this formula, we can solve the whole math in this chapter. I again repeat, by using this formula, I can solve, we, we can solve the whole math in this chapter. Suppose, sum of, uh, now sum of quantities are given, then at first we add the quantities and find out the number of quantities. Then we uh, uh, want to find out the average, so sum of quantities divide number of quantities, then we can find out the average. Then average, uh, uh, average is given and number of quantities have given, we need to find out the sum of quantities. How can we find? Then we multiply average with the number of quantities and we get sum of quantities. Okay. Now exercise 8, problem 3. The table below shows the amount of mi uh, milk taken from on cow. The day, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And the milk measured in liter. And they are 13 liters, 16 liters, 15 liters, 13 liters, 17 liters, 14 liters, and 17 liters. Find the average amount of milk that, on cow, uh, that cow gives on day. Solution. There are how many days? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there are 7 days. So number of quantities is 7. And in order to find the average amount of milk, we must add the whole number of quantities. Suppose, uh, so 13, uh, 13 plus 16 plus 15 plus 13 plus 17 plus 14 plus 17. If we add this whole number, then we get 105 liters. So, the average amount of milk equal to 105 by 7 and we get 15 liters. Let us start CBQ on. We weighted 3 oranges in a box of 20 oranges and found that these were 335 gram, 320 gram and 371 gram. So, first question is what is average? Second question is calculate the average weight of these three oranges and estimate the weight of 20 or oranges in the box. So first of all, we uh, solve number A, what is average? We have already learned at the top of our lecture, average. So the definition of average is when a set of quantities are given, but the value obtained by dividing the sum of these quantities by the number of quantities in the set is called the average of these quantities. And the formula of average is sum of quantities divided by the number of quantities. So number B, calculate the average weight of these three oranges. Note these three oranges. So the number of quantity here is three. And the weight of these three oranges are 335 gram, 320 gram and 370 on gram. So at first we add these three weights of three oranges, just like 335 plus 320 plus 370 on, and we get 1026 gram. In order to find out the average weight of three oranges, we divide 1026 by three, and we get 342 gram which is the answer, okay? Next one, estimate the weight of 20 oranges in the box, okay? From B, we get the average weight of three oranges are 
300 is 342. It means the weight of 1, weight of 1 orange is 342. By using this estimation, we find out the, uh, find out the uh, weight of 20 oranges. Here, the number of quantities is 20. And uh, the weight of one, or, uh, 1 orange is 342. So we multiply 342 by 20 and we get the total amount of, uh, total weight of 20 oranges. Okay? Next one. CBQ2. The summation of 30 numbers is 1924. Among them, the average of first seven numbers is 172. So, number one question, what is the average of last six numbers? Number B, what is the average of all numbers? And number C, if 13th number is 124, what is the average of first 12 numbers? So, number A, given that the summation of 13 number is on 1924. And the average of first seven number is 172. By this information, we can find out the summation of first seven number. How can? By multiplying 172 by 7. And we get 1204. So, the summation of last six number will be by subtracting the summation of first seven number from the summation of 13 number. So, we subtract 1204 from 1924 and we get 720. Okay. So, the average of last six number is how much? Average of last six number is 720 divided by 6 equal to 120. The division procedure is given in this section. Okay. Here number B. What is the average of all numbers? What is the average of all numbers? The questions give you the information that the summation of 13 number is 1924. Student, notice that the number of quantities is 13 and the summation of these quantities is 1924. So, we can easily find out the average of 13 number from this information. So, we divide 1924 by 13 and we get the average of 13 numbers just like 1924 by 13 and we get 148 the solution uh, the division procedure is given in this section that means 1924 by 13 19 is smaller than 90 is bigger than 13 for this reason we consider two digit then 30 on the 13 if we subtract then we get 6 2 is placed here in 62 30 goes in four times that means we get 52 by subtracting 52, then we get 10 and 4 placed in this section. In 400, on 104, 13 goes in 8 times and we get on 104. By subtracting, we get 0. Okay. Number C. If 13 number is on 124, what is the average of first 20 number? The the question give you the information that the summation of 30 number is 1924. Okay, if I subtract 13th number from this number, then we get then we get the summation of 12 numbers. Okay, the summation of 13 number is 1924, and the 13 number is 124. So the summation of first 12 number is 1924 minus 124. Then we get 1,800. The average of first 12 number. How can we get here the number of quantities 12 and the summation of quantities 1,800. Then we divide 1,800 by 12 and we get 1,500. The division procedure is given in, the, given in this section and the answer is 150. Okay? CBQ2 done. Next number CBQ number 3. There are 100 
50 mangoes in a basket. From 10 such basket, Shumon was given 475 mangoes and Runa was given 575 mangoes. The remaining mangoes are given to Onamika. Number A, how many mangoes does Onamika get? Number B question, how many baskets of mangoes does she get? What is the average of mangoes of these three persons? So number A, how many mangoes does Onamika get? There are how many mangoes? 150 mangoes in a basket. And <coughs> given that, 10 has basket. Shumon was given 475 mangoes and uh, Runa was given 575 mangoes. So first of all, we find out how many mangoes are in 10 has basket. One basket contains 150 mangoes and 10 basket contains 150 multiplied by 10 and we get 1500 mangoes. So in total, Shumon and Runa get, we add 475 and 575. By adding these two numbers, we get 1500, 1050 mangoes. But now we find out the amount of mangoes does Onamika get. How can we subtract the total amount of mangoes of Shumon and Jonah from the whole mangoes? Then we get 450 mangoes. Okay, 450 mangoes is the answer. Number B, how many baskets of mangoes does she get? So from A we get, Onamika gets 405 mangoes and the questions give you the information that one basket contain 150 mangoes. So we divide 450 by 150 mangoes. Then we get the amount of basket. So the amount of basket is 3. By solving 450 divided by 150 we get 3. And it is the answer. Number C. What is the average of mangoes of these three persons? Three persons means Shumon, Runa, and Onamika. Shumon, Shumon's amount 475 mangoes, Runa's amount 575 mangoes, and from A we get, Onamika gets 405 mangoes. So we add the whole mangoes, and we get 1500 mangoes. Here, the number of quantities is 3 because there are 3 persons and the sum of quantities 1500 mangoes. So how can we get the average of this uh, of the mango of 3 person? By using the formula whose formula is sum of quantities divided by number of quantities. So sum of quantities is 1500 divided by number of quantities. Number of quantities is 3. So dividing, dividing 1500 by 3 we get 500 mangoes and it is the answer i think you understand you have understood today's topics you should bear in mind that practice more and more at home please stay home stay safe okay assalamu alaikum